Hello, I want to tell you a story about Anansi, that trickster spider from the continent of Africa, from the country of Ghana. You see, Anansi had six children, and each of his children had a very special and unique gift. You see, the first child was called see trouble. Now he could see trouble from miles and miles away. And the second child was called road builder. Why, he could build a road out of sticks, stone, mud, or whatever. And that road could take you anywhere you wanted to go. And the third child was called river drinker. Why, she could take a big gulp from the river and hold it in her mouth all in one gulp. And then the fourth child was called Game Skinner. Oh, Game Skinner could pull the skin off of a dead animal or fish in just like that. And then there was Stone Thrower. Why, it was said that one time the Stone Thrower threw a stone so high in the sky that it landed on the moon. And then there was Cushion. Oh, and everyone in the village loved Cushion because if you were going to fall and hit the ground, Cushion would run there and catch you and you would land on his soft belly. So one day, old Anansi took a journey and he went far away from his village. And when he was ready to return, it was late and it had gotten dark and Anansi could not find his way home. So he was in trouble. And so his first son said, trouble is all around father. Father is in trouble and he's far away. We've got to get to him. So the road builder said, okay, I will build a road and that road will take us to where father is. So they all gathered around and they went down this long road that road builder had built. And when they got there to the end of the road, they didn't see their father. They didn't know where he was. And so C. Trouble could see that father was in deep trouble for he was in the bottom of the river inside a big fish. So then River Drinker just took a big gulp and held the whole river in her mouth just long enough for Game Skinner to go down there and pull the skin off of that fish and allow Father Anansi to walk right out of that fish between the bones. And he walked out onto dry ground. And they were so happy and they were ready to go home. But they had their father with them. All of a sudden, a big hawk seemed to come out of nowhere, came swooping down and snatched up Anansi and carried him far into the sky. So then Stone Thrower grabbed a stone and he threw that stone so far into the sky that it knocked out that hawk and Anansi was free. And now Anansi was falling down, 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 down. And Cushion was running and running and running and trying to get under him. And boom! Father Anansi fell right on the soft belly of Cushion and he was saved. So they all were so happy and they went on home. Well, Anansi was so proud of his children because each of his children again had special, special gifts. One was sea trouble. The other was road builder, river drinker, game skinner, and stone thrower and cushion. And they all used their special talent to save their father. So think about what special talent and what special gift you have and how you can use that gift to save someone else.